my goodness, oh, what oh, a oh, dancing oh. little fool, huh, bud? Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Yeah. There's your follow-up. Yeah, he is. Hot water. In yeah. yeah. Got to get Some a good grip on him. Nice, nice. Kind of rolling on the top water baits and caught a few, but Mark thought, well, let's, let's go a little bit below the surface. Use that subwalk as like a slight subsurface alternative to a top water, and it's working. Yeah. Nice. You know, so many times we've seen where fish want to come up, they'll roll on the bait, but they won't commit. And we've learned a lot over the years about just that next level down, just yeah. subsurface, and what a classic place for a subwalk. Yeah. Indeed. Beautiful. Try another one. All right. Great, right, we're out here over open water fishing some top water. Mark's going to try it just below the surface. These fish are definitely schooling and coming up, but sometimes if they won't commit to coming all the way to the surface, we'll give them an alternative. Oh, yes! There you he got goes. him. Yeah, he nailed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we got one going, Mark. Man, he just hit that on the glide. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there yeah. You go. Oh. Almost an escape heat, but we got her. There's nice a job, beauty, nice Steve. job. Ooh. Nice. The, oh, there we go. Look at that one. <laughs> That's Beautiful. a dandy bud. That's up. See, she's got that, but it was just that real subtle. Just that twitching. Pluck. That little twitch pulled it to one side, and then all of a sudden I could feel the line going. Go. Yeah. One it's more. that, that uh, the sure set. Sure set has got go. it right in the corner. Beautiful fish, Beautiful Steve. Beautiful smallmouth bass. Oh, this is fun. Whether it be on the surface or below, it's just a blast to gotcha. finally figure them out and get get them going. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? Uh, we're really learning something. You know, it's fascinating. For years, we've thrown top water. For years, we've thrown X wraps. For years, we've thrown a variety of different baits. But I've got to be honest. I've never really known what was the right comeback bait in mm -hmm. an area where the fish will show themselves but they won't commit. Yes. I know we've talked about that before yeah. but it's I mean you keep proving it with the subwalk it's just that just that little bit lower than the surface yep. that they're willing to take yeah. the bait. And there's some that will come up but we've had a lot that have not committed Absolutely. as they roll up and I think this is what's really getting them to go. Yeah. Subwalk's a great little hey, bait. I'm impressed. Very good. This is what we're awesome. fishing on. We're fishing on this sharp drop in about 23, 26, 28 feet of water, we're marking a lot of bait. And yep, look, and folks, there is a school. cloud of smelt. Mm -mm -mm. That's exactly what smallies feeding on smelt. They could be walleyes, too. We don't know. But we're catching smallmouth up on these sand sharp breaks. And uh, I got oh, one. you got one. I he got ate one. your top water. <laughs> God, <laughs> sorry, <buddy. laughs> got him. Oh, oh this yeah. is a mule. Oh, baby. Oh, this, this is a big gosh. fish. Oh, oh, oh. Get him there, Steve. Get him now, buddy. Yes. Look at that. Oh, oh that's a heavy <laughs> fish, man. This is a right, beauty. Oh, they great fish in here. Oh man. You know, Steve, this was just whew, this was just wild. We're we're honest, folks. We didn't set this thing up. What <laughs> honestly happened? We're we were showing you. This is a real fighting fish. This is one of those main lake big heads. <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in the water real quick, and then I gotta share with you what you just saw. It was it was real. <laughs> there she goes. Well, down you go, what girl. Watching and observing, we're talking about top water, you know, sight fishing, and using the equipment that we've got. And, and, and the fact was, there was a cloud of smelt. We targeted the fish. We're looking at the fish. <laughs> and a dang fish bites the top water. It's being dead stuck out there, yeah, if that's right. proper English. You're dead the wordsmith. <laughs> but doggone it, I mean, folks, this is real stuff. If you watch your, and use your electronics, you use all the tools and you use the right baits, it's just... And they're coming up from some deep water when they see those right. appealing baits, either on the surface or just below. We're getting them on both ways. Yeah, it's just cool. fantastic. There's one. Attaboy. Oh, yeah. Good one? Oh, yeah, I think so. All He's pounding pretty he was, hard, Steve. All of a sudden, he was just on there. It's, you know, interesting with this subwalk, you know, almost a do-nothing, because it just sits there in the water suspended. And sometimes that's that's what they are wanting. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh guy. yeah, there we go. Nice. Sub walker. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. I gotta get my other hand on the net, yeah, bud. Yeah. There you nice go. Fish. Look at that big brownie. Oh, how about that, Mark? I tell you, we've had an interesting pattern today. Absolutely. Some top water action, which is always fun with those new baits. Mm-hmm. And then go on to the slightly subsurface when we've had a little bit of... Got a good it's, grip on him, Steve. Oh, he's yeah, not he's done. A, this is a strong bet. You know, with that subwalk, it's a great, great opportunity and something to always keep in mind when you're on a topwater bite. 
Thank you, partner. Yep. As to have those subwalks handy in case they're just not quite committing. <laughs>